Okay, morning viewers. Uh, welcome to another success story here uh, in Gampur, Tabaki. Uh, this morning, uh, my name is Arvind Videsi, I'm going to be with Karibyan Chemicals. Uh, we have with us uh, Mr. Timothy Patis, also known as Chippy. And Chippy wanted to show us, you know, uh, a new variety that we introduced into the country uh, roughly about maybe about five, six months ago. Uh, this new variety, Plinica from Seminis. So Chippy wants to show you all, you know, the attributes of this variety that boasts of uh, a very good resistance towards uh, bacteria, leaf spots, uh, phytophthora, excellent gear, excellent quality fruit. Uh, so, Chippy, uh, without any further ado, uh, show the viewers on them this variety. Let them know what it is you know, you like about this, this variety as you talk about. The number one thing about this variety is maintaining that size. So, how long, you say maintaining that size, so how long you have this now? About approximately two months. Two months. So this field is about four months old. We planted late December in the rain. We come into the dry, and you still have a center pepper roughly about three quarters of what a pong in size. Right. Right. Um, what about the quality? We shall try finding for this center pepper. How we find it? It's quality. It has a good, very good, very good. thick walls. So once you have thick walls, you have good shelf life. It means that when you harvest this pepper, you sell it in the market. It could remain on the stall, it could remain in your refrigerator on top of your counter for 14 days at least because of the thick walls and quality of the food. Alright, so Chippy, tell me something about the quality of the tree, the root system, the, the leaf drop in. Any problems you had with this variety? No problems. A very good beer, right? You said it was. Um, how often how often you were Every of, 7 to 10 days. Every 7 to 10 days, you were harvesting tapa. And that is an important thing to note that a variety of sweet pepper viewers. The one half pepper is to harvest every every week. And as you will notice here on the branch, uh, Chippy, you will be harvesting pepper here today. Next week you'll probably harvest this one and then the following week you're harvesting and you still have flowers coming. So you have continuous fruit setting, you know, on the tree. And this is just one branch. So imagine all the branches in the field doing this to the amount of peppers you'll have to harvest. So Chippy, you're telling me about the quality of the pepper. How you was able to... The quality to... of the pepper. That's the quality of the pepper. So with your salt. So if you don't have proper salt, you will salt the pepper, it might get big, and then after it might melt. That is man. salt. It's a very good salt. Right, you protect so any pepper in that kind of way and swelling it without melting it. So you're ensuring you're getting a good fruit, a good, good yield. shelf life, good yield with the yeah. Alexia yeah. 1217. And that is an important thing to note if you have because the reason uh, this fertilizer is able to do that is because it's made from high quality ingredients. Uh, it contains sulfate, a potash, and that, that form of potassium, uh, it does not allow the fruits and them to break down, but it does not allow it to melt. Right? Because sulfate and potash, notice the feel have a, a sort of a dark greenish color. Uh, we haven't fertilized here for how long? Maybe about a two to three weeks. The youth are fertilizing right now. And it's still able to maintain the color, and that is because of the, the, the content. With concentration of sulfur uh, in this fertilizer. Right? Another important thing to note with this fertilizer contains uh, ammonical nitrogen, so which means that it, it, it does not leach out that form of nitrogen, don't leach out, don't wash out in, in, in the soil. So the plants have a, a longer supply of nutrients over a longer period of time. So, Chippy, I uh, know you have a sin this morning, I don't want to keep it back too long. I like the pepper there, nice quality, keep up the good work and continue harvesting. Thanks for the time this morning. Alright, so Chippy. Just finished harvest, 23 crates of sweet pepper and two feed bags from one bed and three maker sweet pepper. So what type kind of how prolific the bearing is in this variety? 